hello uh, once again uh, this is your barista Bernardo Antonio uh, today I'm here at the central store and I just want to think of just making something uh, simple over here I want to show you how to make uh, a good way on how to make uh, an iced American so uh, before that I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need uh, for iced Americano. So uh, I have a jug of water over here. I have my ice cubes. I have my cup that I'm going to use for the iced Americano. And I have my coffee here. And today I'm using a very nice coffee here. I'm using a blend of Panama and uh, uh, Ethiopian goodie. So for, for, Panama, for Panama, we're able to get the sweet uh, black currant taste. And uh, for Ethiopian, it's kind of a good coffee because uh, it's uh, from the southern, uh, here you go, it's from the southern na uh, nations, uh, natural process. So it's a medium body. So today I just uh, mixed uh, the two. I need to get the tactile and the dominant flavor for, for this Panama and uh, Ethiopian. So uh, let's jump in and uh, able to start fasting now. I'm able to get my coffee, measure my coffee, and show you the right and perfect way of doing the iced Americano. I know it's this something that you always do, but I'll show you the right way of doing it and some of the mistakes that we do uh, when we're making it. Yella, let's go. I'll take my water filter, clean it nicely, the way I'm cleaning it, it is dry, I put on my scale uh, over here, put on my uh, water filter, go and check the side, right there, it is uh, zero zero, again I'm not sure that I need to tell you, right there, it is zero zero, I extract my coffee, today I'm using uh, 19 grams, Coffee. I'm using 19 grams of coffee today. Just make sure that uh, we level it nicely. Do a nice thumping. We say we thump like a pro. So do a nice thumping over here. Then from there, it's uh, nicely uh, thumped. So put it over here. See, it's giving me 19.7. So almost 19.5. So, but it's an American. So then, after that one, we're gonna extract our coffee. But uh, I want to get my my ML 19.7. I'm gonna start my my machine over here. So that I can get my I can get my Americano. So as you can able to see uh, over here, the drip is dripping very well uh, for my espresso over here. So it is 19.5 grams, so I'm gonna do um, 19.5, I'm gonna give it 36, uh, 36 ml uh, of my coffee, so almost done, getting 36, I stop, I stop my time. So as you can see here, uh, I'm having my shot of espresso, I already done. So the next thing, uh, I'll take my glass over here, then I'm having my ice cubes. So the secret to this also, ice cubes is good to have like a seven to six ice cubes. So I'll do actually eight ice cubes today. So one, two, three, Seven is standard. Let's stick to seven. Seven is standard. Then I have my water here, and the water here is a filtered water. So I'll just pour my water here. 
nicely after pouring my water uh, to that level and this is the right way of doing the americano so i'll take my my coffee espresso swirl it a little bit to mix the nice crema then i'll pour it on top of my i'll pour it on top of my uh, my water over here so as you can see now i have my iced americano then the next thing uh, that I'll use my iced americano even as you can see on top I have some layers of uh, nice uh, crema I take my straw after taking my straw I put it over here then it is time to taste I have my mask there you go uh, we have the iced americano so as i told you i'm feeling the sweet finish of the of the orange the tactile flavor and the black currant it's coming strongly from the panama so this is the right way of doing the iced americano have your coffee have your water have your ice cubes then pour the uh, espresso on top now i'm gonna show you how wrongly we do the iced americano take in there don't go anywhere uh, so guys uh, i've showed you the right way of doing the uh, iced americano so i'm gonna show you the wrong way of doing the iced americano so yella let's go The normal process, uh, make sure your water filter is clean, the way it is clean like this one. I tear it in my scale, the zero, zero. I measure my coffee. Same, same coffee that I'm measuring. Make sure you have a flat bed coffee. Uh, make sure you tamp your coffee nicely, the way I'm tamping. So the coffee is nicely, uh, nicely tamped. Yes, can you see? Okay. Yeah, I'm using 19 grams. And then before I start. So this is the mistake that they always do when they are making the iced americano. So first of the thing that they're able to do. They'll have the ice cubes the right way. And uh, I will do seven ice cubes. Then I'll have my purified water for the iced americano. There we go. So basically, uh, this is the mistake that they do now. Let's see the mistake that they do. Because right now I have my purified water, I have my ice cubes. So let's see the mistake that they do when they're making the iced americano. So this is exactly what they do. Uh, I have my scale over here. Inside my water filter. Then the mistake is here. They take this and, uh, over here. Uh, it won't fit, but uh, it's okay. Start uh, using this one. Then. They let actually uh, so they let the flow of espresso flow actually in water. So this is actually a mistake uh, that people always do when they are doing the extraction for the americano. So you won't able to get a nice americano uh, from this one. Because right now we have hot coffee and also we have the ice cubes. So the hot, the hot espresso is actually melting the ice cubes itself. So after the extraction, uh, it has already stopped. You can able to see all the ice cubes uh, which you are here because they have already been preheated with the espresso. So they actually most of them they are melted. 
so it won't actually give you a nice Americano. So yes, it's an Americano, but you won't find actually that nice Americano. So uh, there are two procedures of doing it, and I uh, always see most of the baristas, this is what they do. But it's not the right procedure of doing it. So the right procedure is the former one that we did. Uh, have your cup of a, a glass, put water, uh, put ice cubes, then extract the, uh, pull your chocolate espresso, then pour it on top of the, uh, of your water. Then you get your powerful uh, Americano. So I hope this short video will be able to help. Uh, and you have learned something small. It's just a best uh, iced Americano. But for you to get the dominant flavor, the first is the right way to do it. So I'll use. Most important thing, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like and share. Thank you.